What's going on YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another video and this one's going to be a pretty interesting one because we are going to be doing a simulation matchup inside the pride ring featuring a primetime GSP going up against Vanderlei Silva and I cannot wait to see this simulation matchup and I cannot wait to hear your comments on who you would think would win if GSP had to jump over to Pride and face Vanderlei. And this all stemmed from, this idea stemmed from a conversation I had with a good childhood buddy of mine by the name of Johnny. <laughs> and he was telling me, he's like, Vanderlei Silva inside of Pride was one of the most deadliest fighters in the world. And I agree with him. And he was even telling me, he's like, Ricky, your boy GSP would get absolutely destroyed if they ever had to face off inside the Pride ring. And I'm like, you know what? I agree, I would fear for GSP's life, but I don't think it would be that easy. Just because when GSP would face off against strikers like Tiago Alves and Hardy, you know, he never really got hit by anything flush, man, because GSP has amazing speed, especially in his prime before his knee surgery. He had fantastic speed and a great ability to, you know, pretend that he wants to, you know, duke it out on the feet, but then he would mix in his amazing takedowns and really throw off his opponents, and his takedown attempts would actually open up his striking game. So, obviously, I would say Vanderlei would win, but I think it would be very, very competitive. So, right here, we're going to see how things go and see how GSP does in this simulation matchup. Another thing that I want to say that is pretty crazy if these guys ever had to fight um, would be that... You know, in the first round in Pride, it's 10 minutes. So GSP would have a lot of time to work on the mat. But that comes with a catch because in Pride, the rules were pretty different when it came to the UFC rules because yellow cards were actually issued to fighters for stalling. And if you stalled on the mat, you would get a yellow card along with a 10% deduction of your pay, which sometimes... I believe was kind of too harsh, man. That was crazy. And the thing is, too, judges didn't just judge the round. They didn't judge the rounds. They judged the entire fight. <laughs> Look at this, Vanderlei. He doesn't want to touch gloves. Come on. Oh, GSP kind of forced it on him. But um, it would be pretty interesting. Pretty interesting if this ever happened. Obviously, it wouldn't, but with video games. Oh, look at Vanderlei rushing him. With video games and a little uh, hacking you can make these matchups but holy smokes this is what GSP would have to avoid the rush of Vanderlei and this is cool to see and again that Muay Thai clinch oh look at this a reversal oh a knee by GSP that is crazy but yeah this is where GSP would want the fight on the mat but maybe he would want to use his speed and Maybe get Vanderlei thinking that he wants to strike, but this is what he has to avoid. The Muay Thai plum. And Vanderlei, along with Anderson, did it so well. Holy smokes. Remember Anderson Silva, Chris Lieben? My goodness. Anderson Silva, <laughs> Rich Franklin. But Vanderlei was also so good at using that plum and using those knees. But this is what GSP would need to keep the fight on the mat. Continue to move. Continue. Wow, look at that reversal. Continue to pass, too. And the thing is, a primetime GSP, they called him Rush. If you guys didn't know, he was called Rush because it would always seem like when he was in the ring, he was trying to rush to get the finish. And that's where he was nicknamed Rush. And I feel like when GSP is on the mat, you know, he's so good at just passing, trying to get from full guard to half guard, trying to land shots, trying to... You always loved going for a Kimura's on the mat. And he was just so good at keeping busy and letting the referee, you know, let him work on the map. But this is what he can't do. Stay on the feet, but that's great that he went for a takedown. Oh, nice reversal. But you got to be careful with Vanderlei because Vanderlei had that, you know, love for keeping the fight on the feet just because obviously he was so successful. But he has great Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And um, he wouldn't just lay there and do nothing if you get him down to the mat. So you got to be very cautious with that. But this is great. G seeing GSP on the outside. Utilizing his speed. And again, this is a long round, man. But yeah, he has to definitely avoid this. Oh, those knees. Just ask Quentin Rampage Jackson, man. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. Oh, but there he goes. Relentless takedowns. And yeah, having this pace... Will definitely tire tire out Vanderlei on the sauce or not. 
Oh, and remember in Pride, when you get into side control, you're allowed knees on the mat. No elbows, which is kind of crazy. How can you not allow elbows to the face, but you're allowed, you know, knees on the mat? Don't forget you're allowed soccer kicks to the face, stomps, knees to the head, obviously, um, on the feet and on the mat, like I said. But why wouldn't they allow elbows? Let me know in the comments. But this is this is a fantastic simulation round by GSP. We still have four minutes left, people, in this round. And Vanderlei seems to be getting a little frustrated. GSP using that fantastic speed in the wrestling, man. And I don't know if you guys remember, but GSP, you know, was doing so well with his wrestling. I'll never forget Josh Koscheck UFC. Was it UFC 74? When <laughs> that Koscheck. Oh, watch out, George! Oh no! But that was a crazy. Oh no! Is he gonna get finished here? That was a crazy fight because Koscheck's like, oh my gosh, I'm a Division One NCAA champion. There's no way that GSP is gonna out wrestle me. And didn't GSP do that? Yeah, that was a great fight. But yeah, he was so successful that he thought about, you know, competing in the Olympics. In wrestling, but I'm glad he didn't because I wanted to see him continue to compete inside the octagon. But right here, this is a crazy seesaw battle. The one thing, though, with George on the feet, just doesn't seem to have that one punch knockout power, and Vanderlei does. So George has to be careful. There he goes. He needs to make this, you know, a mixed martial arts event. And look at this north south inside the octagon is not a position you want to go to, but inside pride, it's something that is very deadly even when you sprawl wow sprawling and north south is almost like the same in a way but right there you could really hammer to the head with those knees and i miss the pride days man just because that first round was such a fantastic measuring stick on you know the stamina game and the heart of these fighters and right here we're seeing heart we're seeing <laughs> Just a crazy seesaw battle, man. This is fun to see. <laughs> and look at this. Vanderlei stall and give him a yellow card. <laughs> but you know what? Even though Vanderlei had those moments where it looked like the fight was done, I still give that round to George, man. Just because he had multiple takedowns. Oh, he's got a little cut on that left eye. Look at Greg Jackson. <laughs> giving him oh there's stitch durant you know stitch got like permanently banned by dana white <laughs> but before that it was so nice seeing stitch he was such a great cut man man he did big fights too but he's obviously doing well inside the boxing ring and um is he doing bellator as well let me know for all you hardcores but what a crazy round let's see what happens here in this second round and obviously don't forget to comment on who would win if GSP in his prime would go to Pride and face off against Vanderlei. How would that go down? I could see it going like this where it's like a wrestling match, but I could also see it where GSP gets hit with something crazy and really gets hurt badly, man. Especially not getting used to getting hit with those soccer kicks and foot stomps. Oh man, it could be pretty nasty, but I don't know. GSP always has a way of coming up with fantastic game plans and implementing those game plans for sure. But here we go. Second round. I love that spinning sidekick. He learned that spinning sidekick from Joe Rogan. Have you ever seen that video? Rogan has like the craziest sidekick ever. And look at this. GSP. Oh! He tried to go with the belly to belly suplex right there. Look at this. Oh, gets a takedown. Back into side control. And it looks like George is wanting that north-south position right here. And you hear the round? He's like, or hear the corner? They're like, you got a lot of time. Yeah, you got a lot of time in the round for sure. But he's got to be careful because the shots from Vanderlei are just so much more deadly. Oh, a nice reversal right there. Oh, these animations are amazing here in Undisputed 3. Holy cow. It just seems so real just sitting here. You know, commentating over the simulation matchup. It just seems so real. The animations are just top-notch, man. We got three minutes left. George doing a nice job denying the transitions by Vanderlei. Really frustrating him, isn't he? 
And I'm telling you, I could see this happen. It looked like George threw an elbow right there. That's illegal. But I could see this happening where George is just smothering Vanderlei, tiring him out, getting him really frustrated, and using that wrestling, like I said. But he's got to avoid this. He's got to avoid the clinch. But you can't forget, George has some crazy, crazy strength in the clinch as well. But yeah, he's got to do this. If it's on the feet, Vanderlei <laughs> could kill George, man. Oh, man. But this is what he definitely has to do, like I said. But, oh, a little hammer fist right there. Vanderlei not being patient on the mat, just trying to... Oh, look at this. Going with an R bar. And remember, GSP did this to Matt Hughes. Remember? GSP Hughes 3. I believe he set up a Kimura and then, you know, transitioned into an armbar and Matt Hughes at the top. That was a crazy fight. Oh, it looked like Vanderlei was tapping there, didn't it? <laughs> Overeem would say he was tapping. But we are back on the feet. Only 20 seconds left. Nice uppercut by GSP. And again, like I said, throwing all... Oh, it got dropped. Vanderlei's power is just on another level here, but... Yeah, throwing all those uh, takedowns GSP did, or going for all those takedowns opened up his stand-up game, but he's got to be careful, man. He's got to definitely be careful with the Vanderlei power. Yeah, oh, look at that! And you got to say, man, the, the swelling in this game, the cuts are just at another level. It's quite sad, though, if you think about it. You know, a game being this old, to have better, you know, details in terms of the bruising of the faces compared to games now, man. <laughs> really is quite sad, but it is what it is. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but GSP here needs to worry about those... The, the right hand by Vanderlei, but he's got to <laughs> worry about just keeping it on the feet for too long. He's got to... Get that fight down to the mat. So here we go. Round three. You got to say. It's 1-1. One, one. But again, the judges. They don't judge it by round. Judges judge the entire fight in making a decision, not by round. And I agree with that. Just because, you know, you, you watch a fight. A guy does well the first two rounds, but then gets destroyed. And... You know, you feel like that he lost the fight, but then he wins the fight because he's won the first two rounds, but he got destroyed in the third. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like the judges should judge the entire fight, you know, not by round. Let me know if you agree with that. But right here, GSP, <laughs> he's got to be careful, man. Don't get hit with anything crazy. <laughs> oh, nice. And George was just so good in the clinch, you know, just... Spinning his opponents around. Oh, but he doesn't get the takedown. And this is my biggest fear as a GSP fan. Not getting that takedown and getting stuck in sprawl. Oh, no. And now he's going to get hit with shots. And again, those knees he's got to be careful with, especially in this position. George trying to just control the posture of Vanderlei. Oh, he gets the reversal. He needed that. Oh, he tried to... Right there, he tried to go into side control, I believe. Didn't get it. Did a nice job right there. Powering through. Not getting hit with anything crazy. Oh, good job. But even in the game, you could really see GSP's shots compared to Vanderlei's not having that much juice on them. You know, and with George, he's got to really throw a lot of volume shots to hurt his opponents. Just not Jay Huron. Remember that fight? Oh, George did such a great job. Oh, look at this uppercut. And the Bisbig fight. Come on, I got to give uh, respect to GSP's power. But look at that drop right there out of nowhere. And George showing the heart of a champion coming here in pride <laughs> facing Vanderlei. <laughs> oh, man, I know this is fantasy, but this is fun, man. This is fun to see. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. But I think with a minute left, George just can't get any... Can't get hit with anything flush. You know, he really needs to keep it like this, man. A wrestling match. You know, you got a little Greco-Roman style. Oh, Vanderlei tried to suplex him right there. Didn't have enough juice. Or George was just too strong on the base right there. Oh, you saw the soccer kick. GSP avoided the soccer kick right there. 
He's got top control, loses it. Oh my goodness. Not a lot of time left. Vanderlei tries to let him up right here. And the fight is done. Holy smokes. We are going to the judges. And who got it? Is George is on his knees already. But they haven't announced anything. Who's the winner? And I turn commentating off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think GSP is trying to sell uh, his work to the judges right here. Because they didn't announce anything. But yeah, I turned commentating off. But I don't know. Does that mean the announcers turned off as well? Let's wait and see. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> here we go. It's got to show it right here. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. And again, they don't judge it by round, man. Oh! All judges have GSP winning by decision. I can see that happening, man. I can see that happening. Oh, that was fun, man. That was fun. But let me know your thoughts on this matchup. And let me know your thoughts on this style of video. GSP gets the victory. Oh, that was fun. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one. I'd love to make more of these you know, epic retro matches for sure. But anyways, guys, this is Ricky. All the best. Have a great day. I'm out of here. Peace. But uh, I'm not impressed by your performance. And I look forward to, to fight you in the near future. <laughs>